Denmark boss age Harry hailed goalkeeper Kasper Schmeichel after the 1-0 World Cup Group C victory over Peru in Saransk. Schmeichel was key in seeing out the win following use of Paulson's 59th minute strike, making fine saves to keep out efforts from Edison Flores and Jefferson Farfan. He also did well to deny Andre Carrillo in a first half that saw Peru, playing in their first World Cup finals match since 1982, miss a penalty awarded via the video assistant referee system, Christian Cueva blazing his attempt from 12 yards over the bar. Denmark goalkeeper Kasper Schmeichel, right, was praised by age Harriet Martin Meisner, AP, Harriet said in his post-match press conference of Lester Schmeichel, he is acrobatic, he is a very quick goalkeeper, he is fast on his feet and his goal line play is probably the best in the world when he is in form, today he had a fantastic performance and it is needed when you get as hard pressure on you as Peru did in the second half, he added, we have to acknowledge the performance of Casper today, but also the whole defense and the whole team, Harried was also eager to praise Peru for their efforts. Age Harried saw Denmark make the perfect start in Russia, Niall Carson, PA, the 64-year-old, who fears midfielder William Kvist could be ruled out for the rest of the World Cup having come off in the first half with a suspected fractured rib, said, I think Peru is an outstanding team. They probably deserve more, but that's football, sometimes that happens, and today we were on the lucky side. Next game, Peru can be on the lucky side, Peru boss Ricardo Garica echoed Harrod's words in saying he felt his team had not deserved to lose the match before stressing they cannot cry over spilled milk, my players did their best, so I really can't complain, the Argentinian said. Fantastic to start the at FIFA World Cup with a win. I think that would have been fair, I really believe Peru didn't deserve to lose, but football is about effectiveness, we can't cry over spilled milk, we have to recover as soon as possible, when asked if the atmosphere created by Peru's multitude of fans in the stadium had got to his players in a negative way, Garica insisted that, rather than under pressure, it made them feel, motivated, and he said of Cueva, who looked devastated after his penalty miss, of course, people make mistakes. Christian Cueva sent his penalty blazing over the bar, Martin Meisner, AP, afterwards he participated in lots of plays. I think he recovered and that's the only way you have to try to overcome this kind of adversity. He's a very strong player with a strong character and mindset, Cueva horribly miscued his penalty just before the interval having been brought down in the box by Paulson, an incident Gambian referee Bakary Gassama watched replays of on the pitch side monitor before pointing to the spot. After Paulson's subsequent goal, which was teed up by Christian Eriksen, there was a lively performance from Peru substitute Paulo Guerrero, their all-time record scorer who was cleared to play at this World Cup in May when a Swiss court granted a temporary lifting of his 14-month drug ban. The 34-year-old went close to equalizing when he sent a clever back heel wide with around 10 minutes to go. Peru next play on Thursday against France, who beat Australia 2-1 on Saturday.